Hello everyone, my name is Lou, welcome back to another video. Today you join me here in Aylesbury, I mean it's, it's 10 to 7, 10 to 8 in the morning and today we're going to Reading. So you can join me uh, to Reading. My bus is already in, we're getting the 0805 137 Highwood with red line. White 65 RGB is my bus. So, um, yeah, so it goes in about 10 minutes and I'll see you. When I, when I get on the bus. There's my first bus, white, 65 RGB. I'm on 30. Oh, no, no, no. Hi, yeah, come.
the 8.50 um, but that's okay because that was the 9 o'clock I want that I didn't want uh, I need the 9.20 and there's room Thank you. Oh, made it to High Wickham. I haven't got long here. I've at least got like 10 minutes before the 8.50 bus to Reading. Okay, Wickham bus station now. Uh, had to. Mm. Yeah, I know uh, if you saw that one. Uh, I know it's first week of November. I mean, yeah. But yeah, we've just got to wait now for the 8.50 bus. Now the 8.50, if you don't know what it is, it's the service from here in High Wycombe to Reading. The two, the 800 and the 800 has been drawn now. Um, but scheduled journey time to Reading is 90 minutes. We're on a bus for 90 minutes. Uh, we'll go through Marlow, Henley on Thames and to Twyford. And we'll get to Reading for 11 o'clock hopefully fingers crossed yeah, hopefully I don't know what it is yet because it hasn't arrived yet but knowing it's the 8.50 it's probably going to be either a pulsar so one of the eclipses one of the 61 plates or an enviro of some sort it won't be an MMC never is um, but yeah I'll just wait for the bus now and I'll see you when it arrives ok my bus is coming in now E400, number 214, CF10, go, air, air, here it is, CF10, MXF, 214, carousel bus. Yeah, morning. No, no, no. cheers, thank you very much. Yeah. So this is CF10 OXF 214 Campus L. Got my time to from the route, so I've already picked them up at the stand. So there was some at the ticket machine, but because <coughs> I was juggling up between this, my phone, and my bus pass, it wasn't easy to. But I hope it went through. But, but yeah, we'll just leave it now. Uh, leaving just a minute behind, which ain't too bad. But I'll see you when I get. Uh, well, I might show along the route actually, because this is a long route. It's about an hour long. But I'll see you when we get to. Uh, I'll give an update when I probably get to Henley or Marlow. But I'll see you there. So, left home now, heading up to Marlow now. Change the plans today. I just heard all the bus times, and it's possible that when we get to Henley on Thames, I can change onto the 28 bus. Now, the 28 is the local version of this, uh, run by Reading buses, so we can get a Reading bus. Um, it's going to be one of the gas buses. Now, I have not been on a lot of these because, of course, I haven't been to Reading lately. Now, it leaves five minutes. 10 minutes after we arrive. We're due in Marlow Henley at 10.05 and the bus goes at 10.15. He go, gets the reading five minutes before this does. So I'm going to try and aim for that. It means I get an extra five minutes in reading. So yeah. So yeah, so we're just coming through Marlow now. Um, We'll go from, um, I'll just give my time to go like this. Uh, the route itself starts in I Wickham, so. And then through Cressex, uh, through past the Handley Cross roundabout by the coachway. We don't serve the coachway, no, which probably a good link, but we don't. Then through Marlow, Transport, Missenden, Mill End, and then Henley on Thames. And then this bus 
Ooh, I've just uh, noticed a uh, wide side FFO on the 155. Red Eagle. Hot gear do. Um, and then the bus goes through Wargrave, Twyford, Troy, um, and into Reading. Now, if I remember right, the 28 goes to Caversham, which is slightly quicker. But yeah. So yeah, we're going to get that. In Henley, and it means I can get running buses under 28. The Aqua route. So, yeah, I'll see you when we go in Henley. So, we've left Marlow heading up to Mission of Henley. So, um, I mean, this route is just an absolute gorgeous route. I mean, it's a, yeah, I mean, it takes 50 minutes from Reading, from, so. Henley to Wickham, which is fine. It takes 25 minutes just to get to Marlow. Um, now, the route's every 20 minutes, so you're going to need quite a few buses. When I last checked the bus time, it's saying you need the 11 buses. Seriously, for an hour and a half, hour long, to Reading on a 20 minute headway is really good. Of course, when a Reaver used to do it, it rolls every half for an hour with the 880 hourly each. But nowadays, it's every 20 minutes, it's the 850s only. Now, we are just about to cross the border though. So we're just about, because we're technically. Slim Bucks. Mission them is still in Bucks, so however, Henley isn't. It's in Berkshire. So I'll be crossing the border shortly. Ugh. Hopefully we can make that connection in Henley. We should do. If we don't, then we're screwed because the next one's in half an hour. So I might have stay on this. But at the moment it's scheduled to get five minutes at Henley, so we should be able to get it. But yeah, I'll see you when we get up at Henley. Okay, we're now in Henley. Um, I've just noted Henley on Thames is in Oxfordshire. Ugh! How's it home? No. Ugh. But yeah, so we're just in Henley now. Uh, just gonna wait to get off at Hart Street, which is where the 28 bus starts. Um, and that's where we're going to get off this 8.50 go on the 28 on we Reading buses and turn out to Reading because Holland's got to and if you know me you know what does something but yeah I'll see you when I get off Thank you very much. Here we are in Henley on Thames, and here's my bus number 440 with Reading bus on the 28. But I'm going to quickly have to put the check. So we're now on 440 with Reading bus. It's on the 28 at my route to Reading. So yeah, this is interesting. I mean, gas bus is an E300. Um, brand new for the route, but well, it's time to put something else. I'll just put one up in there. Uh, we're due to go in about five minutes. So, yeah. I mean, it's a nice bus. Um, Reading buses were really good anyway. Um, but yeah, I'll see you on move. Okay, so uh, just going through the ship legs now. Uh, the 28 is one of the Reading Buses' newest routes. Um, now, if you don't know, Reading Buses, for 20 years now, since 2004 when they launched the first ones, have been doing colour branding on all their routes. This one is called Aqua, 
and it runs every half an hour all day. I'm heading on Thames already. Oh, I'll ship like and have a ship. Now, a couple of times a day, there are a couple of trips by Binfield Eve, uh, which is to cover for the loss of the 800 service that used to go down there when it was run by Viva and Carousel. Carousel withdrew it back in September uh, as part of their redo of their network in the High Wycombe area. And the route itself uh, was replaced by the uh, enhanced 850 service, which runs every 20 minutes. Um, the bus itself, 440, is one of the E300s, 14 plate. I believe this is rigid already, but it might not be. This might actually be the nature of the version, but I can't say for sure. Um, but it's brand new for the room, it's got tight as you can see. Um, but I know where there's more, I mean, Broad Street's more at the travel shop, so I'm going to go there shortly. But the bus terminal is Fire Street. Find where the Broad Street Mall eats. So, of course, I haven't been to Reading for a while. So, yeah. Um, but this bus is also quite special. Because in Reading, they've got a lot of these things, but they're not. They run on gas. That's right, gas. Compressed gas. It's to help the environment. They don't do electric, it's, it's gas. Um, They've also got the X Stagecoach Sunderland batch of gas B300, which, which is great. Um, I hope that I can get a sample of that. Uh, hopefully, I can find one. Uh, but overall, these are really nice bikes for 300. They've got rather comfy seating, not level, unfortunately, but that's okay. Uh, it's got USBs, it's got Wi Fi, it's got the tie tables. It's got next stop as well, but unfortunately on my bus, the board's not working, but it's got the audio, which is fine for me. Um, but yeah, overall, really good little bus. Um, yeah. So yeah, but we'll sort of go through Red, um, uh, Oxfordshire, Berkshire, countryside now, which is awesome. And I'll see you when I get off of Reading. Cheers, thank you. This is red here. And that was my bus number 440. Okay, many of them ready. That was a nice bus, I suppose. I don't know why I have. I didn't have high expectations for the um, gas buses. But no, no, I've had a good experience. I mean, we arrived five minutes early, so we've actually beaten the 850 by a good 10 minutes, which is awesome. But yeah, of course, Reading, if you don't know, is famous for the grand buses. There's loads of these. Oh, but first, I need to go and find the Broad Street Mall to go and get to do a, a scam job. Uh, but yeah, I might just get Google Maps up there. Um, but I think I remember rightly because I've been uh, expanding into Reading on my City Bus Manager series uh, that I don't do. Uh, it's, a, it's a private save. Um, but I recently expanded to Reading because I knew I was coming down here. Um, but there are loads of interesting buses here E400s, E200s, machines, everything. It's ridiculous. But yeah, I'm just going to walk down to the Broad Street Mall and I'll see you once I do that. Okay, so I've just been to the Broad Street Mall. I've got three of each because I did say to the others in Aylesbury 
that I was going to get one for someone that I know. Well, actually, two that I know, actually. One's for me, and the other two is for two other people. And those being two people that I've mentioned so many times. Um, but what I'm thinking of doing is I'm, I'm going to put this in my bag and then I'm going to grab lunch as well. Don't fucking put that over there, so I'll quickly get that. And I'm talking pictures here, some Mary's butt. Uh, for about maybe oh, 10 20 minutes, showcase all the is. Then I'll go to Fire Street and get a couple of buses there. And I might also quickly walk over to uh, somewhere else, maybe the Red Station, which is just around the corner from Fire Street. But for now, it's lunch, uh, basically today, it's Burger King. So, lovely. Yeah, I'll see you when I, when I get on my next bus. One hour later. Okay, I'm all done now. Um, unfortunately, I've just missed the 8.50 though, because of a situation. But yeah, so I'm just going to wait half an hour now for the next one. Unless I wait for the 28. Hopefully. Uh, but yeah, 453, I would have got, but... Because of a water circumstance, I'm not doing that now. However, 214, the bus I had earlier still here, should I left an hour ago, but it hasn't gone at all. So I don't know what's going on there. Uh, however, I've got most of the routes apart from Orange and a short. Um, but I, I think, so I'm going to wait for the, the next bus in 20 minutes, uh, which I think, if I've got my knowledge right, I think that was also an MMC of some sort, I think, but I can't say for sure, I'll just have a look on bus stands for the next one, but currently I'm trying to find uh, the most awkward of the brands, and that's a sure, and there is one. Quarter past twelve to Pangbo. Now I haven't seen it because they're so awkward that every two hours. But yeah, I've got that to do and orange and berry. But I've just missed berry, unfortunately. However, there's also the little berries, twenty seven and twenty nines. Now. Because I've just missed that to uh, 8.50, it means I'm now also, if I remember right, I'm also now 20 minutes behind schedule, because I was meant to get that one. But unfortunately, because of that, I'm now 20 minutes behind schedule. As uh, I've been four buses go fast, and so what? Um, there's 84, which I've got for sure. Uh, I just need to find the, the short bus on the point of the road, which kind of stops here, so I'll just wait for that to come, if it comes. Uh, I think there's a little berry over there. I might have a look at that. Might have a look at that. Um, I also need to find orange. I haven't seen an orange in the 10 minutes I've been here. And if I remember rightly, but orange is at every 10 minutes. So I might have a look at what's going on with that. But yeah, so I'm just waiting for that to come. But for now, uh, I'm just going to wait here for the next 8.50. Back to High Wycombe. Back now, 2.09 on the 8.50. J F and I'm J so right, so formerly with Thames. Just moving forward. I'm just going to get to a nine J F and I'm oh, right, so formerly with Thames driver, and that's only on loan to Carousel. On the 850 left, we're super dead for about 10 past 2. Thank you, right? Oh, 
Hi, yeah. Hello. Thank you. And take this all the way to Wickham. Another Vivo. Ugh. So we're now on to our line. Back to Wickham. Um, it's on the A50. We didn't leave seven minutes late because what Apple wants. The bus ride black. Some minutes late, and the driver just said, hey. um, Also, we're talking to the other driver on 209, on 214, because uh, 214 has actually broken down. Um, so, the 10 up 11 trip, which was, was meant to do, was cancelled. Shipping with it now, so I don't know what's going on there. Uh, apparently, Carousel were going to probably put an additional bus on that trip, so instead, but yeah. But that's it. But, uh, but overall, a good day in Reading. Um, it's going to take about an hour to get back to Highwood from now, but that's okay. Uh, I'm also a bit behind because I was meant to get the earlier one well, because I had to do some more pictures. I missed those chances. But yeah. But within the hour that uh, I've been here, it's been absolutely fantastic. Um, actually a fantastic day here in Reading. Um, unfortunately though as the time got um, progresses on I do need to get back to Aylesbury. So I'm on this Clyde Wickham there I'll get the one fairly back to Aylesbury. Should be back in Aylesbury for about three ish. But I'm actually gonna get off at a hospital and get the no from there. Just at uh, King's Road uh, in Reading, just about um, right out the centre. Um, and we'll take that to uh, to High Wickham and then up to Alsbury. Thank you. Thank you. Made it to Wickham. Unfortunately, though, uh, I missed the one thirty that was meant to make. Um, unfortunately, it left seven minutes early um, because of a diversion on the route. So I'm now going to have to wait for LJ9 KPL on the three hundred. Yeah, about ten minutes. So yeah, not good. Not good indeed. And that might also put. Um, my connections in limbo as it turns out that I need to be there for 20 past. That's not gonna happen now. So uh, yeah what I'm gonna do I'm gonna end here in high Wickham because obviously if you see me get the one twenty seven times I'm gonna pause over to a voice over me to sum up my day and any bit uh, and all showcase all the brands in Reading. Uh, as you can see here, I'm obviously I'm finishing here in High Wickham today because I'm going to go home now on the next 300. But thank you very much for watching, and I'll pass you to the studio. So, to conclude this video and a quick review of the network in Reading. So, if you don't know, Reading has a comprehensive network of bus services in the town mostly operated by Reading buses however there are other routes out of the town like the X40 run by Thames Travel other services to Wokenham run by Thames Valley and also the 850 service to High Wycombe from to Carousel bus but the main network of towns and interurban routes by Reading buses are all branded and I'll showcase all of them in this little bit here the first one is Jet Black which is the number one. This runs to Feel, Fatcham and Newbury. This runs to be 30 minutes Monday to Saturday with an hourly service on Sundays. And this route uses E400 MMCs. The second brand is Lime, which is number two and number two A to Birchfield and Montera. This runs to be 30 minutes Monday to Saturday with an hourly service on Sundays. One an hour is the number two. The other one is the number two A. 
which goes a different way around Berkeley. A couple of trips a day, however, do go to Tantley AWE, and this route uses gas E300s, a speciality in Reading. The next route is Leopard, which is the number three, to Royal Berkshire Hospital, Shinfield, Abbotsfield, Barkham, and Wokenham. This one should be 15 minutes Monday to Saturday, half hourly on Sunday, which only goes for as Abbotsfield Green. Two an hour go to Shinfield, one an hour to Abbotsfield Green, and the last one an hour goes all the way to Wokenham. And this uses gas E300s. Then we've got Lion, which is a 4 and X4, to Winmash, Wokenham, Great Hallands, and Bracknell. This runs every 20 minutes, Monday to Saturday, with half hourly Sunday service. One an hour, Monday to Sunday, is a X4, which goes via John Nike Way, which is between Wokenham and Bracknell. And the other two, or one on a Sunday, are the number four, which goes via Great Hallands. The, the routes use E400 Cities, brand new ones from last year. Then we've got Emerald, which is number five and number six. These run to Whitney Street where they split uh, the number 5 then goes to Corpus Road and Northumberland Avenue and the number 6 goes to Basingstoke Road and Whitney Road. Both these services are every 12 minutes Monday to Saturday with every 20 minutes on Sundays. So combined between Reading and Whitney Street, buses run every 6 minutes. A couple of trips a day on the 6 or the 6A variant is to the Tesco Depot. Both the 5 and the 6 are also 24-hour services. These run 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. And this route uses E400 MMCs. Then we've got Buzz, which is split into two routes. The number 9 runs from Reading to the Royal Berkshire Hospital, Crescenton Road, Whitney Wood, Walton Garage and Green Park at Green Park Railway Station. The number 18 starts in Kenworth Drive, then to Reading, Rivermead, Portman Road, Kentwood Hill and Tynehurst. The number 9 runs hourly, Monday to Saturday with no Sunday service. And the number 18 runs every 40 minutes, Monday to Saturday with an hourly Sunday service. And the routes, both routes use gas E300s. Then we've got Ruby, which is the number 10, to Kennet Island. This runs every 30 minutes, Monday to Sunday, Sunday with gas E300s. Then we've got Bronze, which is the number 11, to Berkeley Avenue and Coney Park. This runs every 20 minutes, Monday to Saturday, with half hourly Sunday service with gas E300s. Then we've got Orange, which is the number 13 and 14 Whitley Circulars. Both of these routes are every half an hour each, uh, so combined is every 15 minutes. Both routes are hourly on Sundays, so combined half hourly. The difference is, is that the 13 and 14 are one of them is anti-clockwise, the other one is clockwise, around Whitley. These two routes are the only routes in Reading not to use ADL vehicles. These are the only routes in Reading, run by Reading buses, that use right buses. And then particularly, right street decks. Then we've got Sky Blue, which is the number 15 and number 16, which go to the Oxford Road. The number 15 then goes to D Park, Tynehurst, Al Calcott, and the number 16 goes to Overdown Road and Purley. Both routes every 20 minutes, uh, half hourly each on Sundays, so combined Monday to Saturday, they are every 10 minutes with E400. Then we've got the purple route, the number 17, for Wokenham Road, Reading, Oxford Road, and Tynehurst. This is the most frequent route in the whole of the town. Runs every 8 minutes Monday to Saturday and every 10 minutes on Sundays with a 24 hour service. And this route uses E400 cities. Then we've got the little oranges, which are the 19A, 19B, and 19C. All three of these routes go to the Royal Box Hostel and the University of Reading Early Gate Campus. But then the 19A, 19C are Woodley circulars just to serve the back streets of Woodley while the 19B goes to lower hourly. The 19A, 19C are hourly each, so combined to half hourly with no Sunday service, and the 19B is hourly altogether, Monday, Saturday with no Sunday service, with E200s. Then we've got the White Knight brand, which is the newest brand, uh, launched earlier this year, and this is the number 20, 
runs at the University of Reading and runs every 10 minutes Monday to Friday, 15 minutes Saturdays and Sundays. This route only runs during the term time. If it's not term time at the University of Reading, the route doesn't run. And this route uses E400s. Then we've got Clannock, which is the other of the University of Reading services. This is number 21 to the University of Reading and Lower Oldley. Um, it runs every 15 minutes Monday to Saturday and 20 minutes on Sundays with a 24 hour service with E400 MMCs. Then we've got Pink, which is the 22, 25, and 25A. The 22 runs to Caversham Heights hourly, Monday to Saturday with no Sunday service. The 25 and 25A go to Elm Green, Sunderland Common, and Pub Park Common. Both routes combine to every 30 minutes, both every hour with the 25A terminating in Solomon Common and the 25 extending to Park Common. Both these routes, so all three of them, use gas E300s. Then we've got the Berry routes, the 23 and 24 to Caversham and Elmwood Green, and the 23 also goes to Caversham Park. Both are clockwise and clockwise circulars, and they're both half hourly all together, so every 15 minutes all day, and they're both hourly on Sundays, so combined every half an hour. And these use E400s. Then we got the yellow route, which is the 26 to South Coat, Forts Farm, ben Beans Head, and Calcott at the Sainsbury's and at the IKEA. Um, this runs in 15 minutes Monday to Saturday and a half hour on Sundays with a 24 hour service. And this uses E400s. Then we got the Little Berries, that's the 27 and the 29 to Caversham and Lower Caversham. The 27 is a one-way only route. It runs to Reading only from Lower Caversham at Nar Road on the Amsham Road. Um, hourly, Monday to Saturday with no Sunday service. On the 29, it's half hourly to Lower Caversham, but hourly only to Reading, Monday to Saturday. The other one an hour is the 27. On Sundays, it's both ways hourly. And this uses E200 MMCs. Then we've got Aqua, another new brand for this year. Um, this runs to Caversham, Ship Lake, and Henley on Thames. Runs every 30 minutes, Monday to Saturday, and hourly on Sundays, with a couple of trips a day going for Binfield Heath, which is between Caversham and Ship Lake. And this runs with gas E300s. Then we've got Raw Blue, which is the number 33. That goes down to the Tynehurst Road, Meadway, and Turner's Farm. This runs every 20 minutes, Monday to Saturday, and half hourly on Sundays, with E400 MMCs. Then we've got Assure, which is the newest one, one of the newest brands, alongside White Knight and Aqua. This is the number 43, which runs to the Oxford Road, Purley, Pangbourne and Apple Basel. A new route recently launched by Reading Buses to take over the 143 service originally run by Thames Travel. Uh, which This route is the most infrequent of the brands. Every 120 minutes, every two hours, Monday to Saturday with no Sunday service. Note though that a couple of trips a day go to Pambourne only, not to Apple Bansenden, and this uses gas E300, the only route in Reading not to have a branded bus. Then we've got Green Wave, which is the number 50. This is a direct service to Green Park, um, which is the business park area of Reading. Um, this runs every 15 minutes Monday to Saturday and every Monday to Friday, with 45 minutes service on Saturdays and no Sunday service. There are different routes around Green Park in the morning, from the first bus to about 2 o'clock, and then from 2 o'clock to the last bus is a different route, and this uses E400 cities. For the park and rides, there are three routes. The first one is the hospital park and ride. This runs from Miro Park and Ride to New University of Reading, Raw Berkshire Hospital, and Thames Valley Park and Ride, so it doesn't go into the centre of Reading. This runs every 30 minutes, Monday to Friday, with no Saturday or Sunday service, with gas, E300s. The other one is, on this page, is the Windmash Triangle Park Ride, a recently reinstated route. Uh, this runs direct to the Triangle Park and Ride site from Reading, every 15 minutes, Monday to Saturday, with no Sunday service. At the time we make this video, this route is currently using E200 MMCs and E200s temporarily. Um, don't know if that's um, permanent or not, but at the Tommy, me making this video, they're using E200 MMCs and E200s. I must add, though, that the E200 MMCs do have branding for the route, but it's not, they're all white and they are brand new as well. And the last one of the Park Rides routes is the Mirror ones. This is the 600 and 650. 
which goes to the mirror park and ride. They run every 15 minutes run to the park and ride, but every hour it extends to Swallowfield and Risley, and another bus every hour goes to Spencer's Wood and Thames Valley Science Park. That is all Monday to Saturday, however, on a Sunday the 650 operates. This runs from Reading to the Green Park area and then to Mirror Park and right hourly. But thank you very much for watching this video. If you do enjoy this sort of stuff, please like, comment and subscribe. There are more plans for me this year. I will be making trips to Blackpool in the next couple of weeks and as well to London as well. But for until then, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video I make. Goodbye for now. Bye.